more letters from God and His Christ. A Heavy Stone, A Bitter Burden October 16, 2012 From the Lord, our God and Savior The Word of the Lord spoken to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord, The walls of Jerusalem are fallen, The high walls crumble and are broken down, The people are given into the hands of their enemies, those who murder without cause. Blood fills the streets as the women wail over the dead, pouring out drink offerings upon the ground. My people are taken captive, and those who walk free are surrounded on every side, with no place to flee. By two and by three the enemies enter in through the cracks. In droves they gather outside the city that they might break down the gates. Jerusalem, O oh Jerusalem, why have you forsaken me? Even to this day, O oh Israel, you have not ceased from walking in the ways of your forefathers, stoning my prophets in word and by deed, seeking always to kill or imprison those sent to you. Have I not gathered you with a mighty hand from among the nations, restoring you to your own land? even granting you great increase? Yet you do not embrace me, for you yet push out the hand against my Holy One. You refuse to drink from his cup. How long shall you seek to murder your king? How long will you deny the way I have set before you? How long shall you blaspheme the truth which I sent into the world to testify? You have forsaken life! You refuse the blood I poured out for you. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how long will you let his blood drip from your fingers? Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. For I tell you the truth, the stain of your guilt remains as you pass it from one generation to the next. Thus you fulfill the curse by which your forefathers had cursed themselves. You freed the murderer and condemned the innocent. You murdered the author of life and hung your salvation upon a tree, piercing his hands and his feet. Behold, even those who dwell among you, who are called Christian, do pollute my name and crucify me again and again in their hearts by all they say and do. A very perverse people, a corrupt religion which looks nothing like me. Churches of men who worship themselves and their own ideals as they proclaim a Christ, an idol, which they have formed in their own image, continually reshaping it to meet their own expectations, that they might uphold their own traditions, which I hate. Jerusalem, oh Jerusalem. Why have you forsaken me? Your enemies dwell at the gates and have entered the city. Behold, they dwell upon the mount, desecrating the land, bowing down five times per day to their God, a false image, a very grave error, for he is no God. A religion built upon the works of the evil one, acolytes who walk in his footsteps bearing fruit according to his likeness, multitudes of deceived peoples, a whole nation of evil workers practicing that which Satan delights in. O oh, sons of perdition, you have no place in my holy mountain, for you shall be utterly destroyed when it falls hard upon you. You shall be wiped from off the land, your every temple torn down and burned with fire. I shall bring upon you a great slaughter. From city to city death shall pursue you, and fire shall look at your heels as you attempt to flee, says the Lord God of Israel. And when the day comes, yea, it has come and is here, O house of Israel, when your enemies band together and come out to fight against you with numbers beyond compare, a great multitude, every man fitted with weapons of death and slaughter, 
an astounding company with many machines of war. A terrible army, the likes of which has never been seen. Jerusalem, oh, Jerusalem, shall I also forsake you and leave you to the slaughter? Shall I now turn my back on you and leave you to annihilation? O oh, Israel, shall I let you burn in the fire? Shall I leave Jacob to be plowed like a field? Have I gathered you together in one place, only to let you be overcome by your enemies round about? For you have indeed sinned against me, and you forsake me still. Thus I tell you plainly, behold, I speak it to you once again, though you have no ears to hear. I am the Lord, and I have dealt with you for my own namesake, and not according to your wicked ways, nor according to your corrupt doings, O house of Israel. Therefore, with the backward swipe of my hand, shall I scatter those who have drawn near to destroy you, and with the blast of my nostrils shall all their wings be broken off. My footsteps shall shake the earth, and bring destruction upon all their devices. The heat of my anger shall come up into my face, causing a terrible fire to consume them. My voice shall speak into the air, and many shall be driven mad. Behold, in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath I shall speak, and brother shall turn against brother, and nature shall rise up and fight against them. For is this not the day? spoken of by my prophets of old? Is this not the day I declared from the beginning that it would come? Is this not the day I rise up and defend my people Israel and cause my name to resound in all the earth? Go now and read what has been written. Read what the mouth of the living God has spoken concerning all these things. And now read also that which I have spoken through my prophet of this day, and tremble in fear. For indeed, Jerusalem has become a heavy stone upon the necks of all nations, even as it weighs heavily upon mine also. Thus, as I have spoken it, so shall it be. All who seek to cast off this stone shall surely be cut in pieces, says the Lord God of hosts. <laughs>